Hello ladies and gents, welcome to the Brussels Car Show. Behind us is the new Toyota Corolla facelift with a new updated infotainment, biggest screen. So let's check it out without further ado. Here's the new Toyota Corolla Touring Sport Hybrid. Uh, beautiful Corolla, small changes, uh, mostly on the inside, but beautiful design with uh, lots of dynamic lines. So let's come a little bit closer to check it out. We have beautiful blue metallic color. We have the gorgeous daytime running lights that turn into turn signals. There's also a little LED bar inside. Uh, LED project projector with the lens up there, fog lights at the bottom, parking sensors, washer, uh, very dynamic lines as I've mentioned. Uh, have this top in the black. Toyota badge is the radar and uh, also part of the uh, sport package. We have the piano black details on the grill. A little air intake on the top and at the bottom and little chrome accents as well. Looking nice. We back up you can see that looking very aerodynamic and sleek now if we come to check the alloys you can see these are 225 40 r18 beautiful 18 inch alloys diamond cut silver on gray metallic and have a good curb protection there uh, not sure what these tires are falcon something now Checking the top here, you can see uh, speakers. These are the JBL upgraded speakers. There's one behind the infotainment in the middle of the dash. Uh, camera for the lane assist, uh, light and rain sensor. There's another sensor there. You can see also heating for the camera. And no uh, heated windshield. For a moment, I thought it was an option there. You can see uh, aluminum slim roof racks, uh, pano roof tinted, of course. Uh, this is piano black, shark fin and a spoiler extending to the back. If you check the profile of the car, you can see beautiful, gorgeous aerodynamic design. We have some aerodynamic pieces here. Uh, standard mirrors from Toyota. Uh, these are on a new Corolla Cross and uh, I think RAV4. Have a turn signal there and no puddle lights at the bottom. Uh, we have blind spot warning there in the mirrors we also have a nice uh, crew here cleaning the cars so they're not dusty for us big thanks to them uh, we have tinted windows on the rear and nice and big windows so you have a lot of light the sport package also this is painted another look at the gorgeous alloys so lock from the inside you have to unlock it but there's your fuel cap and checking here the car is a little bit in the corner so i'm trying to show you the whole car uh, we have here beautiful led taillights uh, led turn signals inside and everything you have here toyota uh, signature there so another look here what well, the lady is gone now i know the car is backed up but you can see it for the most part so parking sensors we have cat eyes there little chrome uh, these are not real exhaust tips uh, with the chrome they kind of stand out so it look like fake exhaust tips but I think if they left that out maybe it would kind of hide the whole thing uh, so we wouldn't think about it and of course exhaust pipe on Japanese cars is on the right side uh, Corolla signature hybrid badge uh, blue badge so you have the backing camera warm lights for the license plates press to open and you have the stoplight integrated on the top let's press it up actually let me just show you this angle you can see the full car so looking very gorgeous and elegant there we go let's open the cargo space i'm gonna back up so you can see the whole space there so it opens fairly tall and i'm a two meter tall person so yeah uh, again, Japanese engineers designed this, so they're in average shorter. Um, but you know, it's for most of the people uh, okay height. You can hear close or program to lock. There is a little hard top here, and this is all plain. Now you can hear press. So this is kind of nice. Uh, feels like rubberized material, and it's just press here roll goes inside you can see the cargo space is nice and practical so we have a flat entry so it's easy to put and slide cargo inside we have aluminium protection there 
little plastic here as well this is rubberized so also nice feeling you have a 12 volt socket here and you can knock down the seats from the rear you have grocery hooks integrated there in this beautiful led light that extends across on the other side it's the same so i really like the fact that toyota put it both lights on each side and without the 12 volt outlet here this is the same setup with the grocery hook and knocking down the seats uh, there's extra room on the left side you can see that and seats knock down 60 40 you have those anchor points for the child seats there is a little room there you can put some stuff there is also uh tether points there and this has a spring so it'll just knock down and over here massive space you can see that you can put a spare wheel but in this case it's not fitted and uh, you can see also the tether points there so all four sides have now to show you here there's like five ten so almost 12 fingers of height to the uh, loading area so looking amazing i'm gonna knock this one down so you can see it completely falls down i think it's almost flat slightly going up but there you go and let's close the shade so you just pull it back it clicks into place and it's locked so you just press again if you want to open it so nice and soft uh, closing now let's check the rear solid I would say Toyota closing sound now the doors could open a little bit wider uh, if you need to put the child seat so maybe just a little degree more uh, you can see here when the seat is knocked down and you can see the rear cargo space uh, I didn't notice that but you can see here there's a uh, net if you have pets if you want to keep them in the back and over here you can see you can knock down the seats here as well it pushes uh, automatically down there is a seat belt aligner so it's not in the way but let's come back to the doors we have good seals and extending all the way same on the inside you can push down here <clears throat> if you want to lock inside for the kids now this is softly padded so and it's an imitation of leather but actually this is leather excuse me very impressed and this is also leather so different pattern on the leather you have white stitching nice contrast power windows not sure if they're fully automatic though in small really small ball area speaker there checking the seats so very nice leather and some contrast stitching as shown in the doors nice cloth inside warm in the winter uh, well you have the isofix uh, there but you have to watch out not to lose these so maybe store them in the back there is an air vent here where you close the doors the air needs to come out so this is also maybe for the battery uh, which is I forgot to mention this is a hybrid so the battery I think it's in the front in this car maybe in the back if I'm not mistaken and you can see the original carpets also some sort of white contrast there a good view for the panel roof and a lot of light inside the interior and let's get inside so I was sitting on the front and I adjusted the seats for myself so in that case uh, you can see that the knee area is very tight for a tall person for an average person I think it would be okay and you have big pockets here this is all leather um, and before I close the doors you can see here more light air vents and <clears throat> well let me see here two USB C's so that's a nice addition for fast charging they have this little cover transmission tunnel is uh, not too tall it is a bit wider let's hear the closing sound excellent closing sound for Toyota like comparing to German brands I think they have just slightly better top sound but this is also okay and let me see here so we have nice and uh, big windows we have a window towards the C pillar and a little bit more narrow view on the rear it is dark in the car there is this light here so it's cool light and uh, you have these so if you push this up 
on each end here. Let me just try to show you that. So this is, in case you have pets, have this here, so you can see that. You can push this up there. Well, you're supposed to do it on both ends. But uh, in this case, uh, you can see that. So that's how it would look. Uh, it's kind of hard doing it from the back, but I just wanted to show you that's an option. Those of you who have dogs. And um, the seats are going inside. They're really wide and uh, very comfortable. This can be, of course, adjusted. You can press here to knock it down. And there is a middle armrest. So over here you can see it's nice rubberized leather. Unfortunately, no opening here. I think that will be a nice addition. Maybe something to note for the future. And uh, checking the headspace since I'm a two meter tall person. So uh, yeah, it's an issue, definitely. I mean, when I try to straighten up, the seats are obviously too small for me, but, uh, and the head is problem. Uh, maybe there wasn't a head roof, or excuse me, uh, banner roof, uh, there would be more space. But I think um, for an average person, there should be plenty of space. Now, checking the front, we have the new, uh, bigger display and the uh, digital cockpit. I'm gonna go check that out. Uh, all four sides have this slowly closing handle, so you have your hood there. And this is also for the bed here, so you can put a net on the front as well. And I like what I see, I gotta say. Let's get up to the, to the front. Bonjour. Bonjour. And Check the front here. So the driver's side has a physical cylinder in case it will battery depletes. Uh, there is a blind spot warning in the mirror there, as I mentioned. And let's just hear the closing sound on the front a lot uh, better. Front doors open wider, so they have some sort of coaching here. And have good seals. Uh, and checking the front materials, so nice and soft. I'm really pleased with Corolla. Uh, or Toyota that they're using soft touch materials still over here as well covered by leather same as on the top and same contrast stitching big handle here you can press here to lock or unlock power windows automatic folding uh, you can lock for the rear lock or unlock the car from the inside it looks like all windows are power windows a little bit of horrible piano black but it's nice and sturdy there so not really good water bottle area here. It's kind of tight. Uh, they should redesign this area and the speaker there. Uh, tire pressure is here. You can see that. Uh, you can see it now. And over here we have the lumbar. This is for up and down tilt and push up to slide back and forward. You have a nice uh, leather here and cloth but with the addition of Alcantara inside, as you can see on the front seats, which are sports seats, they have big bolsters on the top and the bottom and integrated, uh, actually looks like an integrated headrest, but you can see on the other one, it's adjustable, with a little piano black there on the top, same as on the middle bridge. Uh, you can see the Corolla Hybrid original uh, carpets and rubber uh, battles for the automatic. <clears throat> We're gonna pop the bonnet Later, you have the automatic uh, long beam, I guess, odometer trip to reset, traction off, and open the cargo space. Uh, steering wheel column is manual. You have those sport paddles there. Another view at the top. And let's jump inside because there is some sort of loud music. I hope I won't get a copyright strike. Let's close it up. Excellent closing on the front. Now, switch to the wire lens. And we have beautiful point of view beautiful steering wheel uh, the screen is a bit tall but I like it it just this is my eye level so it comes to this uh, end where the glass starts so your eyes are closer to the road that is good for safety and let's zoom back in so checking the steering wheel uh, still same Toyota steering wheel I saw this in a RAV uh, the previous gen uh, there's gonna be a separate review of the RAV4 and GR uh, maybe a different color though and checking here the steering wheel leather has a texture but it's more on the smooth side it's a three spoke round um, saying this because this is supposed to be sport package not a flat bottom in this case 
And uh, what I love here, you have physical controls for the volume, for the infotainment, uh, phone calls, uh, trip computer, and excuse me, uh, not trip computer, um, cruise control settings. Uh, this one's for the uh, cockpit there. And uh, there's no piano black. Excellent. Uh, you have sport paddles uh, here, but you press not here, more like here. Um, okay and uh, you have here light controls so they're off someone used uh, scotch tape here uh, because I think they didn't want people to turn on the lights uh, I found a way to turn them on uh, and over here uh, wiper controls just for my b-roll of course I'm not sure if the car is hooked to 12 battery that might be the case uh, over here interesting ridge connection uh, this is hard and then this is covered uh, by leather and it's soft to the touch you have air vent blowing to the side and in Corolla you have this uh, a pillar window so it gives you viewing to the left side because of the pedestrians uh, moving on uh, you have a speaker there uh, and there on the a pillar JBL you can see that and I've showed you one here uh, rest of the dash looks very nice this is all soft touch materials a little piano black not too horrible not a huge fan um, I would definitely protect there's maybe handles uh, and maybe this area this is hard to put a PPF but uh, okay uh, moving here so we have a gorgeous big display finally and you can turn it on here or off and you have the volume physical controls I think you need to turn on the car to turn on the display we're gonna do that in a moment uh, AC vents Hazard lights, unfortunately, you cannot see them on the mirrors from the driver perspective. That would be nice. Uh, we still have nice physical AC controls and physical buttons for that. So off, front, blow, rear, rear the frost, eco fast, uh, norm, medium, fan speed, air direction, close air direction, um, and AC there. And I don't know, this is also some sort of like fan or no fan, maybe for the passenger. Uh, moving on, we have here the power uh, stop. We have here the heated seats, uh, low, high, and then the middle would be off, I believe. Uh, here is like an on off button, but there is a uh, wireless charging station there. So this is also leather, but outside shell is hard plastic. Probably not gonna touch this maybe with your knees there. Oh, a little bit shaking, but it, it looks sturdy. This is covered by leather. There is a little uh, press to release the automatic, so park reverse neutral drive and electronic. So you have the sport. And over here you have the driving modes and EV uh, button. And electronic parking brake, auto hold. Also leather there. And we have plastic but nice uh, since it's not piano black uh, this is not rubber as it's just plastic but a couple holders uh, universal I guess there's no adjustion this is kind of stiff it's slightly padded but more on the stiff side it has contrast stitching there you have this and inside you have a 12 volt outlet for the spring you have a USB-C and this look at this this just uh, they could have put it something that's like a rubber mat because this this just flops around this little textile they should have put it something harder underneath to hold it down and again once again look at the inside of the seat uh, beautiful so you can see here you can uh, extend that there is really not practical but there is like you can press in and lower the headrest uh, but it's really good that you can actually adjust the headrest with the sport seat most cars have them integrated so the opening, um, so not sure. So these are like covers for the, uh, underneath the car, for the, when you jack the car up on the lifter. Um, plain, but there's okay room. So and you have the LED light. And uh, just to check the top, so just a mirror. Yeah, there you go. Uh, it's a good overview, but it's narrow and you can see further behind you. Uh, there is like a little auto dimming option there you can see a little film in the mirror uh, no on the side mirrors unfortunately and you can see the passenger airbag information you can see here you can open or close the uh, 
the shade and open or close the pan or roof there. I hope you can see it better now. Uh, you have here LED lights. They're off at the moment. You can uh, turn them all on or off. Hope I don't kill the 12 volt battery while I'm trying to film the B-roll. Cloth, some sort of gray finish and then a little bit darker gray, some sort of plastic material. Uh, over here you can see privacy mirror. So there's additional LED light. So I assume this is also LED because on the back it was. And let's see if this will extend. See, this area is not covered. And no, it's not extending. Maybe also something to add in the future uh, for the practicality test. And uh, checking the headspace uh, on the top. I think the seat is yeah in the lowest position. Uh, I'm okay. I'm touching with my hair. But on the front, usually, there's no problem for the height. Now, let's press once and then press twice. So we have the blind spot warning there shows up. Not ready to drive, so uh, there's gonna be lots of errors. Have in mind that the car, I don't have the key. You get this annoying message here, yeah, but it goes away. Um, yeah, so you can see here, there's gonna be a few warnings. We're gonna ignore that for a moment. Let's, uh, you can see here the AC controls. I'm gonna turn it off not to kill the battery and immediately jump to the new infotainment. It looks better. Sorry, it's flashing a little bit. Um, so these are Google Maps, but there's no satellite view, unfortunately. So if you have this, um, pinch to zoom is very responsive. I like how that works. Uh, you can adjust here for the views. Uh, have voice commands over here. You have the points of interest, display options, traffic, motorway, exit, route, trace, or that is normal map. Um, actually, let me see here. What does that mean? Normal map? Maybe it's like. No. Oh, compass map. Okay, we don't need that. And weather map. Snow, rain, okay. And let me see here. So you have the uh, presets. So let me just check the radio here. JBL. I can't play it for too long, not to get a copyright strike. I have to keep talking. Sound seems clear enough. Uh, I didn't adjust the bass or treble middle or all of that but the new interface you can also change here from dab to maybe other to the fm but this looks way better uh and it's responsive there's bluetooth settings trip info history so this is just park on the car show energy flow this is a little bit basic looking but maybe they can work that out and here web browser uh you should connect to wi-fi Settings, car multimedia, personal info, Bluetooth devices, and general, reduce animation, time date, <clears throat> uh, Wi Fi, so you can use Wi Fi inside the car, uh, display, screen, you can turn off the display if you want to drive minimus, you have to just touch here. Automatic brightness, camera, uh, brightness, uh, sound and media. So here you can play with that system, volume, navigation during calls, media, uh, FM, internet, radio, DAB. And let me see here, back to the settings, navigation. Um, you can see all of that. Route, guidance. have intersection map traffic update the map update the infotainment update it and other here okay what is this position direction oh okay and uh, navigation voice and search so you can play with those hey Toyota um, How can I help you? Change. Turn on climate. Turning on AC. Okay, that works nice. Um, and um, back here. So I'm going to turn it off. Uh, vehicle customization. Lights. Normal. Door controls. Press twice to unlock. Power train suspension. 
costume driving mode. So you can change here from uh, normal, eco, or power, all these options, climate, utilities, and uh, dealer info. You can, I guess, add that. Info and security and software updates. Uh, I hope they're OTA on like over the air updates, vehicle customization. So I've been there and yeah, so that's cool. You also have this like we're in Brussels, um, landmarks and so on. I like to phase the car north and uh, you see here low, high and you can of course use the volume there, I forgot. Uh, you can switch off the audio, I guess. So that's not the display off that I thought. Um, no pull down menus, so. And uh, a thing I wanted to show here, I think there was a dark mode, but I'm not sure if I was mistaken, it might be automatic. And um, yeah, uh, right here you have also the dimming on. There's like a little on on off there. I thought something I wanted to show you, but might might come back to me. Uh, let's focus on the new uh, digital cockpit. I gotta say, the graphic color looks very nice. I would prefer this kind of black or dark theme here as an option. Um, now let's see here. So uh, you can check view two, view one, uh, and. View three. So cutting this in uh, on the display, I finally uh, remembered. I know I saw it somewhere. So if you go to the settings uh, and go to the display screen, and then you have the automatic, uh, you can turn it off, and then it offers you the uh, daytime or the nighttime on the automatic. If it's, if it's going to choose it automatically for you or switch it automatically, and you can see here the night map. It looks uh, gorgeous. Even you can see like the full. Uh, continent there uh, and once again the screen uh, responsiveness is amazing uh, but unfortunately I saw in another car I reviewed the GR RAV separate video but the red model um, you have to be subscribed to navigation which sucks so uh, it's not one-time purchase now over here I figured out you have to hold and then you can change also here the messages uh, you can have minimal, you can have uh, maps inside, and I just have to press the hold. You can like zoom in or zoom out, uh, and then you can have like distance. You can switch to the other side, and you have here so minimalist uh, consumption radio battery and so on so it works for the both screens um, here you have tight pressure so it's not identical but it is very uh, similar so you can have that uh, displayed there uh, it's pretty cool because you have three displays and then um, you can uh, decide uh, what you want to see now if you press here you have the number one and then number two so you can have three options with uh, different uh, personalized settings. Turn it off. I think that was it. Uh, let's show you what's under the bonnet. You also get this information about the trip there. Uh, I'm sorry if the video is too long. Uh, I would like to be detailed on this channel. It's my difference from other reviewers. Um, let's open the bonnet and check what's underneath. So again, this is a hybrid. So. Um, Little bit right of the badge actually yeah let me see. so yeah it's push it to the left in the middle of the uh, badge you can see that uh, there's a little leg there you have to use if you want to keep it open so here's your um, I believe four cylinder petrol you can see on the top here and uh, blue thing is your washer fluid the rest you should leave it to the mechanics uh, it's nice <laughs> when it's this clean let it drop and I love this blue metallic color it looks just amazing and there's that front look when the daytime running lights are only running uh, because the main lights are off when you turn off the infotainment uh, let's check the spec and then we're gonna turn on the hazards for you so we have the this is in French so we're in Brussels 
We speak French and German, but also English, but this is all in French. Uh, so 2.0 liter hybrid, uh, 196 horsepower, so almost 200 horsepower, it's pretty nice. E uh, CVT automatic, not your favorite automatic though. Uh, premium, I guess, package, black interior. Uh, this is the price, 43,000, but I guess there's maybe um, lower price on the car show and 10 year warranty. Average fuel consumption 4.7. Let's turn on the hazards for you and end before I get a copyright strike because of this music. You can see the LED turn signals look gorgeous. Now the angle here because we're blocked by the corner. Turn signals. I wish you can see these for the driver so they maybe put a little opening there so you can see that. And you can see that the daytime running lights turn into turn signals. So I'll turn them off after I end the video, but thanks for watching. Want to see more from Brussels? Subscribe and click the bell to get notified when I upload new videos. So everyone, be a cool person, like the channel, uh, like the video, type your comments below. How do you like the new Corolla facelift? I really like the changes and the quality that Toyota provides. Excellent car. Uh, I'm going to see you in the next one, hopefully. Bye.